Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, Grave Visitations here. So today I'm in Cair County Tipperary and we're here to have a look around this beautiful church you can see here in the background, St. Paul's and it's Church of Ireland Church and there's also a family vault here of the Earl of Glengall. So we will go in and we'll talk a little bit about the church and the famous architect who has close connections to design work in Buckingham Palace in London as well. So guys, as you can see here in front of me, this fantastic looking church was built in 1812. It was a picturesque riverside site and was conveyed by the estate free of charge for the purpose of building a new parish church in a more suitable location to safeguard against flooding of the river shore, which is just behind the church area in the town here in Care. Lord Care had an artificial hill constructed, contained by cut limestone and bisected by a sunken walkway known as a ha ha. Um, we will show you that over there. There's a little lane called the ha ha lane over there. Um, so on one hillside would stand the new parish church, on the other, the parish schoolhouse, which is just there to your right, the schoolhouse. And their architecture would be complementary each to the other. Plans were secured from the royal architect John Nash for the two buildings. Now John Nash was a very well-known architect and uh, very close to the Prince Regent and George IV and also redesigned parts of Buckingham Palace the royal family's residence in London. So a very well-known architect who came over here to Ireland and done a lot, other, a lot of other work in different places also. But this is absolutely stunning, this church here. And um, just as you enter the doorway of the church here, we have two stone-cut carvings here of saints. So we see a saint here with the crown and we can see the tree leaf clovers and shamrocks on it there on his face and head and the other side here we have another saint i'm not quite sure about the names of these saints but i will add them to the video any information so just down here guys is the little walkway I was talking to you about there called the Ha Ha which was designed in case of flooding here in Care. you can see the way it goes all the way down along and around the church and the church is actually looks like something you'd see like in a fairy tale it looks like a, Disneyland or that kind of style of a church beautiful architecture and John Nash was the man behind the idea for this so we'll just take you on a walk around and uh, that's the old school there as well now that's part of the church here the old school And it's called there, there's a name on it, if I can just get closer and show you. Eremus Smith House, it says called. And you can just see it there. That's old as well. And here we have the River Shore. The beautiful landscape mountains. And that flows all the way down through Care here in Tipperary. And it's kind of flooded 
in parts you can see just over there it is flooded now that walkway the ha ha walkway goes down just over around there so just straight across there we have a bridge there called viaduct with the stone pillars underneath and like a kind of like a castle design there as well at the top of it you can kind of see it there um and now i'll show you over here this the river shore and you can also see um the castle care castle from this beautiful church from the top of the hill here in tipperary so just down there we have the beautiful castle care castle with a lot of history connected to there there was actually movies made there excalibur the movie was filmed there in 1981 starring liam neeson and many other actors and actresses but now guys while we're here i want to show you Oh, well, the Green Knight was also yeah. filmed there in Care Castle as well. So here is, and it's the only burial area or grave here in St. Paul's Church. And it's the Glen Gall, Richard Glen Gall, Earl of Glen Gall. So the Glen Gall vault, the mausoleum and vault, the Glen Gall family was erected by Margaret Loretta. And she was the Countess of Glengall on the death of her husband Richard, second Earl, in, 19, in 1858. At the same time, Emily, the famed and influential Lady Care and Dowager, Countess of Glengall, who had died in London in 1836, was exhumed and brought home to be also interred here this area one month later their eldest daughter lady margaret butler married lieutenant colonel richard chartres at a time when most of the care butler estates had been lost to the family through bankruptcy lady margaret spent the rest of her life trying to recover and improve the care estate in the march 1861 her younger sister Lady Matilda Butler died aged only 24 years old and is also interred here. Now in April 1864, Margaret Loretta, second Countess of Glengall, was laid to rest here also and remained so until 1991 when the entrance to the vault collapsed and gave local photographer Derek Runnickers the unique opportunity to give us a glimpse at the Glen Galls. Lady Margaret Charteris died and is buried in London in 1915 and was succeeded by her son Richard Butler Charteris who lived here into his 90s and died peacefully at Care Lodge in 1961 thus ending a 600 year association between Care and the Butlers. He chose to be buried with his wife Pamela in Kilcommon Cemetery, leaving his four ancestors to be the only ones interred here in the grounds of St. Paul's Church in Care. The mausoleum is a mix of marble and Aberdeen granite and sits in a picturesque location above the river shore where the late Earl could look down on his ancestral home, Care Castle. And what a beautiful scenic location they chose to be buried in and you can see Care Castle just there straight ahead which is not far from the final resting place in the vault here of the Earl and his family so just on the monument there the inscription says Richard Earl of Glengall who was born in May 1794 and died the 22nd of June 1858 and we have the Lady Matilda Butler born the 20th of October 1836 and she passed away on the 16th of March 1861 
So it's a beautiful looking vault. Um, and as I was saying, you know, it did collapse. You have all this railing that goes all around it. Um, it's a very, very big plot. Now there is a photograph, as I mentioned there, when I was speaking about the, the uh, photographer Derek Runnakers, who took the unique opportunity to take a photograph of inside the vault when they were actually repairing it when it caved in and collapsed in 1991. So Richard, um, or sorry, Derek, the photographer took a photograph of inside the vault. So I will add that to the video. There is a photograph of the beautiful decorated, highly decorated coffins inside the vault. Um, and just on the other side of the, the monument there, we see Margaret Loretta, Countess of Glengall, born on the 18th of February, 1811, and she died on the 2nd of April, 1864. So we have four coffins down below ground here in the vault. Um, and as I was saying there as well, the last person to die who is connected to the line here in the family of 600 years of a line, died in 1961. He chose to be buried in a different cemetery. Kilcommon Cemetery, it's a military cemetery. He chose to be buried there with his wife, Pamela. So that's the beautiful Church of Ireland, Church St. Paul's here in Cair, and a little bit of history behind it. And the final resting place here of Margaret Loretta, the Countess and the Earl of Glengall. So we'll go inside the church here, guys, and give you a little tour around. St. Paul's Church has a vast array of family memorials in wall tablets and plastered ceilings and stained glass and church furniture. The four stained glass windows of the church date from 1890 to 1950 period. The finest such window in the church, indeed, is to the memory of Richard William Smith of Donesk, who died in 1926, aged 93 years old. It was designed by the celebrated Sir Ninian Comper, who designed many windows at Westminster Abbey. It represents a knight in full armour with visor raised. The organ we see here was built during 1896 to house the fine two manual instrument Opus 962 by Peter Con Archer and Sons from Huddersfield. It has ten speaking stops and a particularly sweet tonal quality. Right guys, um, so that's the story of the Countess and the Earl here of Glengall and the beautiful Church of Ireland Church here, St. Paul's and uh, the connection to Buckingham Palace and the architect John Nash. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. The bell lets you know when I upload another video here in Ireland. So thanks for watching the video guys and I will talk to you all again soon. So take care. God bless.